My name's Chris. I'm 33 years old. I have a wife and a five-month son. Five-month-old son. And uh, like most of us, I have a nice, heavy, heavy, heavy mortgage and bills to pay. I'm a cyclist, a snowboarder, a woodworker. I'm an electrician and have been in the industry for 13 years now and have worked across construction and industry. Us, the maintenance team at CUB, commonly known as the CUB 55 now, have been denied to work at CUB. Due to removing us, the maintenance workforce, they're no longer a leading brewery. Their efficiency has gone from 90% to approximately 40% in the time we've been out of, out of work. CUB has destroyed their Aussie heritage by removing a workforce with over 900 years of experience. CUB has destroyed their positive team culture. CUB is no longer known for its great tasting beer, but for making dodgy deals with labour hire companies such as Program. Shame! 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 It's amazing to see what we've been able to achieve and how we've all stood together and I think we're closer for it. So I'd just like to thank you all for coming up, showing your support against this movement. Thank you very much. All about Chris and the CUB 55 comrades. And also, um, I, I'm here because it's Are You OK Day, according to my understanding, or is that the other class? The upper class. Are you OK? Because they're not sure whether they're OK, and CUB's not sure either whether it's OK, you see, because if your friend's the AFL, who've been dealing with the uh, with the CUB for 140 years, you told me. 140 years. Well, then you see, if they lose the sponsorship, the CUB of the AFL, see, they won't be OK. <laughs> and isn't it about time that this mob behind us, an AFL house, who market their game as the working man's game, Start listening to working men and working women and stop boyc start boycotting CUB products over the course of the next few days and weeks. That's our message CUB! Shine, shine, shine! CUB! Shine, shine, shine! CUB! Shine, shine, shine! It's this corporate greed that's got everything going wrong with Australia and we all know about it. And that's why we hit the streets and that's why we need to make some noise. CUB! Not for me! CUB! Weeks ago, 55 of the finest skills workers in Melbourne were sacked. They brought in a Scottish chief executive, a bloke by Gary Woodburn. Ooh. Now, he is, the, he is the, Jane Gary. Jane Gary. Give it to him. He's a dog. He's a dog. I take it you don't like him million dollars a year, so he's still got his first dollar. But like all corporate greed, it's never enough. So we had a meeting 12 months ago of the entire workforce, the skilled 55 included, and said $4 is just too much. Even though we're getting 48, 50 bucks a slab, it's too much. So we got the workforce together and he said we need to bring it, get it more efficient. And they got it down to $2.50 a slab. 1.2 million slabs before the dispute went out the gate. And they were costing CUB to make it through the skilled work of these maintenance workers, $2.50. Do the mathematics where the profit goes. It's one of the most profitable companies in Australia. And the reward for those workers to create that profit for CUB was to be dragged in one day and said, you're all finished. On the same day, because you can't make beer without maintenance workers, everybody knows that, they said you can have, all of you can have your job back. They said, go up the road, reapply with a company called Program School. And if you know school, school are no good. So the entire 55 were sacked. On the same day, they said, look, go and reapply for your exact same jobs, just up the road there, and we'll reemploy you under Program Skill. They arrogantly stood up in front of Commissioner Gooley in Fair Work and said, we'll reemploy these 55 but we'll re-employ them under an agreement called the Catalyst Agreement. 
that catalyst agre agreement, and they were proud in the Commission to say it's the award plus 50 cents. Any boss that offers you the award is offering you an early rate 20 years old. And in this case, it is 65% less than the terms and conditions that they were on the day they were sacked. And it is a disgrace. All organisations are only good as their collective people. Now, I know that CUB say that their, technical, their technicians and workforce in that area are not theirs. But I also know that CUB can't produce beer without them. This is an extremely important brand to Victoria, um, and if they think that they can treat people like this with such disdain and disrespect and not feel the wrath of um, the consumer population in Victoria, then they need to think again. On behalf of myself as the local member and on behalf of the Greens, hats off to you. You have our support, and just know I reckon you probably have the support of the majority of Australians because people know that if you can be asked to come back to work on 65% of your pay, otherwise you haven't got a job, and that that can happen in the heart of Melbourne with one of the biggest companies operating here, it can happen to you, it can happen to everyone else. And that is why everyone around the country and many, many people in Parliament are standing side by side with you. And we will stand side by side until you are able to go back through the gates with your head held high on the waging conditions that you're entitled to. And we were told the pay rates condition and employing entity will be revealed at the interview and no union representation was required. Shame. Oh, shame. We quickly had a mass vote regarding the situation and the decision was unanimous. We collectively told them they could shove it. So far, it sounds like CUB is an innocent party in this mess and that's what they like you to believe. So here's a snapshot of the company. CUB owned by SAB Miller. SAB Miller, 180 breweries worldwide. SAB Miller, 4.4 billion profit per annum. The CEO is projected to make 62 million in bonuses. The GM at Abbott... The GM at Abbotsford, one million. Good on them. But when multinational business has no regard for local content and packaging materials, pays no tax in Australia and has no respect for Australian workers, we need to ask the question, why is this allowed to happen in this country? <laughs> Program has stated that the issue was between CUB and our unions. The program is now pulled out of the contract and is in the process of removing scab labour from CUB. Yeah. We've won the battle, but the war is far from over. When the facts are laid out, it makes it easy to see what we're dealing with. Wage and condition slashing, anti-union, anti-Australia, multinational, corporate free. Yeah. An act of brutality and contempt by Carlton United Breweries at a time when we are celebrating the AFL finals and we believe that we should be drinking their disreputable product. I'm calling on the heroes of football, the Chris Judds of the world, the Bob Murphys, the Boomer Harveys, the Heath Shaws who grew up in the northern suburbs, to join in solidarity with us and our workers in showing that the contempt from CUB will be met with likewise contempt and their alcohol will be banned at the MCG throughout the finals. Yeah.